country right down. And what's this all got to do with the blues? Well, the railway that used to bring all those tops down to Queenscliff does different business today. Now, blues and steam trains go way back. Back to the days of the deep south of America, when the musicians used to jump aboard the freight trains and spread the word. These days, well, it's a little bit different, isn't it? But this is the only blues train in the world. We're going on board. Yeah, but let's get our priorities right. We've got to have a feed first. We started it 12 years ago. We have about 4,500 people a year ride the blues train and they come from all over Australia. Nowadays from all over overseas. We've got 16 k's of track. We go at about 20 miles an hour. The whole show is about four and a half hours. And every half hour, everybody swaps carriages and sees another band. So we call it a progressive party you'll never forget. If you mob can hear me, this bloke's called Stringy Bark McDowell, and he's in carriage A tonight. Like Hugo said, the blues train is kind of like musical carriages. The music stops, then you swap. We love it, the kids are into it, and we've come down, the kids are absolutely devastated, they can't be on board tonight. Yeah. But 18s and over, well, yeah. the parents get the good time. I've just got to say, you kids watching at home, if you see any of your parents on the train tonight, please excuse them. <laughs> now Lots of different musos play the blues train. Tonight in Carriage B, we've got Lloyd Spiegel. Love to you. Now, don't think it's just blokes who get the blues. No way. Dallas Frasca in Carriage C's got them too. Big time. Idea, isn't it? It's fabulous. It's fabulous. I've heard about it, first time I've been on it, and it is just awesome. 